Okay, we're going to do 3,645 and we're going to divide it by 15. Now you might find it helpful when you're practicing to write out the 15 times tables, just going to help to visualize it for now. So we've got 15 is one lot of 15 and then 30 and then 45 and then 60 and then 75 and then 90 and so on. Let's just write that out for now, that's going to help us. Firstly, we're going to say how many 15s fit in to 36? And we can see from our times tables that that fits in two whole times. So we're going to take that 30 away. We're going to say that fits in two whole times. And we're going to take that 30 away to get the remainder. Now 36 take away 30 is just 6. You're then going to bring down the next number. And we're going to say, okay, now how many 15s go into 64? And we can see from our times tables at the side that that fits in four whole times. We've got one, two, three, four. So we're going to say that fits in four times and we're going to take that 60 away. And that leaves us with four. We're then going to bring down the next number, which is a five. How many 15s fit into 45? And again, we can look at our times tables at the side and see that that fits in three times. So then I'm going to put three at the top. That's how many times it fits in. And because that is 45, take it away and we should be left with zero. So our answer is here and it is 243. Let's have a go at another one. So 4,199 divided by 17. Now again, it's probably helpful just to write out your 17 times table for now. So that's 17, 34. Don't worry if that takes you a little bit of time. It's still going to help you. And 102. Let's just write that many out for now. We can keep going if we need it. So firstly, I'm going to say how many 17s fit in to 41. And we can see that 2 would fit in and that would be 34. So I'm then going to take 34 away from underneath. Now, one take away four, if there's more on the floor, you need to borrow from next door. So that three, uh, that becomes a three and that becomes 11. 11 take four is seven. And three take away three is nothing. So we're just left with seven there. Bringing down the next number, which is a nine, we're then gonna say how many 17s fit in to 79. And we can see that that's going to be four times. 68 is the biggest multiple of 17 that fits in. So we're going to say it fits in four times and then we're going to take away that 68 to get the remainder. Nine take eight is one and seven take six is one. We're then going to bring down the next number, which is a nine. And we're now being asked how many 17s go into 119. Well, let's just have a look. If we added another 17 on here, our next one would have been 119. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times that it goes in. So we'll put the seven at the top and then take away the 119 and be left with zero. Okay, next one, 8,384 divided by 16. How many 16s fit into 83? Well, again, we might find it helpful just to write out the 16 times table, or at least the first few, 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112, and again, we'll do more if we need it. So how many 16s go into 83? Well, that fits in one, two, three, four, five whole times, because that takes us up to 80. And we're gonna take that 80 away to get the remainder, and that is three. Bringing down the next number, we've got 38. How many 16s fit into 38? Well, we can see that fits in twice, and that's gonna be 32. So we're gonna take 32 away, and we're left with a remainder of six, bringing down the next number, and that is 64, and we can see that that fits in four whole times. So four goes at the top, take away 64, and we're left with zero. So our answer is 524. Great, next one, 6,396 divided by 12. And again, you might find it helpful, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. How many 12s go into 63? Well, that fits in five times, and we can take the 60 away to get the remainder of three. Bringing down the next number, which is a nine. How many 12s fit into 39? That fits in three whole times, because that's 36. Taking the 36 away leaves us with three. Then bring down the next number, which is also a six, 
How many 12s go into 36? It is three times. So there we go. Take the 36 away and we're left with zero. So the answer is 533. Next one, we've got 19,341 and we're dividing by 21. Now, how many 21s fit into 193? It doesn't fit into 19, so we're going to need to go another one over, 193. So let's start by writing out our 21 times table. I've got 21, 42, 63. And with this, I'm just adding 20 and adding 1 each time. So adding 20 would be 83, but also the 1, so 84. And then 105, 126, 147, 168, 189 and so on. And that's going to be enough for this. So we want to know how many 21s go into 193. And we can see that that's as many as we can go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We wouldn't fit another one in. So that's going to be 9 times. And if we take away that 189, which is 9 lots, we are left with a remainder of 4. 189 up to 193 is 4. Bringing down the next number, we've got 44. And we can see that we can fit 2 lots of 21 into that so taking away 42 we're left with 2 bringing down the 1 is 21 and we know that that fits in one time taking that away leaves us with 0 so 921 is our answer okay and last but not least we've got 126378 divided by 14 so let's write that inside 1 2 6 3 7 8 divided by 14. Let's see if I can fit this in. So 14 times table down the side would be helpful. That is 14, 28, 42, 56, 70, 84, 98, 112, and so on. Let's hope that's enough. Okay, how many 14s fit into 100? It's not enough. The next one is 126. 14 into 126 actually fits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. So I'm going to put that above the 6. And if we take away 126, we have nothing left over. So we bring down the next number, which is a 3, but 14 doesn't go into 3, so we need to bring down another number. How many 14s go into 37? Now, because it didn't go into 3, we need to put a 0 up here to say it didn't go in. How many 14s go into 37? And we can see that 2 fit in, and that's going to be 28. So let's take that away. More on the floor, borrow from next door. So 17 take 8 is 9, and 2 take 2 is nothing. So that's just a remainder of 9. And bringing down the next number, which is an 8, we get 98. How many 14s go into 98? It is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Take that 98 away and get a remainder of 0. So there we go. Our answer is 9,027. I hope that's helped. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Thanks so much.